After all, welcome back to Oblivion. So last time, we found out Hieronymus Alexis once again invading the waterfront looking for the Grey Fox, because apparently the guy just doesn't give up. So we end up doing a major heist to try and get his attention away from here, so we're going to go spy on him, see if he's actually going to clear out of here, because like, damn, this guy just doesn't leave us alone. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Okay, that was very, very strange. I have no idea what that was. There he is. What's up, buddy? Okay, I can't move. I guess that's a good thing. Right, so I guess we're waiting for the guy he's gonna speak to? Which I assume is that random Dramora. Hello, I'm a demon just strolling around. Big on, mortal! What can you tell me? So, the mages send a foul Daedra to deliver a simple note when an honest footman would have done. How typical. Greetings to you. All right, men. We've been ordered back to our posts. I smell the dirty hand of the gray fox behind this. Bingo! He's leaving in about damn time. He dropped the notes. Don't, don't mind me, buddy. There we go. Hieronymus Lex, your vendetta against the Grey Fox has cost the Arcane University dearly. You commandeered the guards patrolling our property. In their absence, someone stole a valuable artifact from the University. We demand that you return all guards to their post immediately. If you do not do this, we'll be forced to bring the matter to the attention of your superior, Ramnus Polis, the Arcane University. Okay. Right, so he's clearing out of here. That's what we need to do. But what do we do now? Do we just go back to Meth Head? While spying on Lex, I saw Dramora deliver a note to him. Lex began to move his men out of the waterfront, and I think this is a signal to report back to Method. Lex dropped the note, I wonder if I can find it. Yes, that's a good question. Oh wait, I already did. Okay, anyway, I'll see you back at Method. I'm rather busy. What's up, baby? Did you miss me? I'm glad you're here. We have work to do. No. Oh, well, I'll take that as a yes then. Okay, I uh, she'll be talking about Lex. He's been ordered to evacuate the waterfront? Excellent. I have one last task for you. As a sign of good faith, the Thieves' Guild needs to return Roromir's ice staff to the Arcane University. Oh, come on. However, the wizards are not to be trusted. I'm sure they are watching for us to put it back where you got it. They would have no qualms about killing you once they had the ice staff back. Instead, I want you to put Roromir's ice staff into Antus Vainan's safe chest. He keeps one in his home. Antus is a former university researcher. Really? You want me to put back one I stole? We are the worst thieves ever. I give me my damn money. Greedy bastard, aren't you? Yes, I, I like am. I like that in a thief. You'll have to see Screva about that. I'm just running the scam. Yeah, well, all right then. Uh, let's talk about Lex some more. He's captain of the Imperial Watch. He's pursuing a personal vendetta against the Thieves' Guild and the Grey Fox. I heard the Grey Fox personally humiliated Lex years ago when he tried to arrest Armand Christophe for theft. Lex has never forgotten it. That Armand guy always getting himself arrested. Okay, I guess we got- In fact, I was gonna say we're going back to Screamer, but no, we gotta return that damn stuff. Ah, yoink! Let's get out of here. Finally got that damn dagger. Right, so where does this guy live? It looks oh, he's right near us. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna put the staff back. Now, I've got a strange feeling you can actually put the staff back and then steal it again right away, and it still counts as you actually having returned it, because, you know, kind of archaic AI in the game script. I could be wrong about that. Maybe you have to come and steal it again after you've actually handed in the quest, but, uh, screw it, we're gonna put it back. We're gonna steal it straight away. If I have to come back and put it back again, you know, I'll just do it off screen. No big deal, really. A bit of a pain in the dick, but, you know, hopefully we don't have to do that. Okay, we're in it. For once, I didn't break any damn lockpicks, which is a good job, because we are down to four. I mean, you know, if our man were Armand, our man, whatever his damn name is, if he was around, we could buy some more from him, but he's not, because, you know, he keeps getting freaking arrested. Right, now, I would assume we have to go upstairs. What's in here? Junk. You know what? We'll take that. Yoink. Anyway, yeah. I would assume we have to go upstairs, because usually that's where you have to go for missions like this, because the basement, there's usually nothing down there. Please don't break- God damn it! Oh, thank God we're in. We are down to one freaking lockpick. I mean, we could always go back and get some more, because I think some vendors sell them, but you don't get many, and I'm lazy, so I don't want to backtrack, so hopefully that's the last thing we have to pick. Now, I would assume it's going to be this chest here. Okay, thank you. Jesus, we don't have to unlock it. And like I say, I think we just take it straight back out of here, and then we can just keep the damn thing. I might be wrong about that. I really hope I'm not, because I don't want to have to come back here again, because I'll probably have to break in again. Anyway, let's go back to, uh, Screefer, I guess. Okay, I 
I've been waiting around for like a day and a half and she is not in her house. I have no idea where the hell she is. According to the map, she's over here somewhere, so I would assume she's going to be in some kind of a bar or an inn or something. God, I hate it when NPCs do that shit. I mean, you know, it's kind of the point of the living world is that they don't just stay in one place, but it makes my job very, very difficult. Hello. And yes, Reville is freaking humongous. I am lost already. It looks like we might be kind of close. It's a maid here. Thank you. Jesus Christ. By the way, I equipped the, uh, I think it's the partner's ring, not the warp ring, and that makes her warp to me, which is kind of confusing, but there you go. Sometimes, uh, however, she still gets lost. Bridges. Don't really know why. Oh, there you I'm are. What the hell are you doing here, you drunkie? Amuse sends his regards. That's lovely. Where's my money? Uh, I guess we talk about Lex again. The Arcane University is getting restless. They have not gotten their ice staff back. Oh damn it! <laughs> if it is not returned soon, they will let Lex return to the waterfront. You must finish the job. Go now. Oh, that sucks, so I have to put it back again. Like yeah, I say, I know you can steal like it later at some point, but apparently not yet. Destroyed. Wait a minute, what the hell is this guy wearing? Orders. It looks kinda oh, like steel no. armor, but it looks different. Sure. Looks You're freaking badass! Look, like he's got like a spiky shoe and everything. Right. I kinda want to kill you wow. for that. Are you, are you, can you come with me? No. Who the hell is this guy? Enough talk. I have no Hello. freaking idea. It looks kinda like he's not wearing any pants, which is frankly kinda comical. Anyway, I guess I'm going back to put the stuff back again. Then I'll see you when I get back here. My god. Okay, stuff has been returned, and holy hell, that was a pain in the dick. And apparently she's actually in her house now, which is shocking. What can a humble doyen do for a sly thief? Well, I mean, if you're offering a blowjob would be nice, but no tea for Chris's sakes. Hieronymus Lex has left the waterfront. Well done. Methradel's report tells me that you have done well. You have earned your reward. Yeah, damn right I did. I am promoting you to Cat Burglar. Which means you can use Luciana Galena of Breville as your fence. Congratulations on your new rank. Oh, cat burglar, I see what you did there, because you're a cat. Genius. Anyway, give me a new job. I have need of a very special book, The Lost Histories of Tamriel. The cat burglar Theranus was sent hunting in Skingrad for this book. However, Theranus has not been seen since. The Grey Fox himself hunts for this book. I need you to find Theranus. Help Theranus bring back this book. If Theranus is unwilling or unable, bring back the book yourself. Are you agreeable? I know damn librarian, but if there's money involved, I'll do it. That is good. Go to Skingrad. The trail starts there. Well, all right then, and I've already forgotten the name of the new fence you mentioned, I so... Yeah, that's a thing. Anyway, let's go find the fence. And then we get out of here. And once we're here, let's rob her. Why the hell not? We really need some more lockpicks. Eh, ah, junk, but screw it, I'll take it, because, you know, I'm a thieving son of a bitch. Anyway, like I said, I'm going to go try and find the fence. Even though I really can't remember the name, I'm probably going to have to go look at the footage. Because, yeah, I really can't remember what she said. Okay, it took me like 10 damn minutes, but I finally found out where she lives. This is the house you can buy, because you can see, because there's the armory portal there, and I believe she should live right above us. Now, I went around for like two days in game, and she does not open her damn house. So, screw it, we're going to break in. I have no idea if she's actually going to be in here, but, uh, yeah, I, I just don't know. I, I've been waiting around forever. Hey, and we love it up in lockpicking. And apparently now, if we mess it up, one tumbler will stay up. So, at least there's that. And she, she's here. Why do you never open your damn house, you wench? My god. Well, what's we here is rubber. It's still down to one long pick though. Ah, what's in the box? Ah, I remember this. It's one of the mods I have. It's, you know, as you can probably tell, Devil May Cry weapons. And they're kind of put around in specific places. That one apparently is there. I don't think I've ever found that one before. I would assume it's probably going to be some kind of gloves to uh, hit harder, because that's what is in Devil May Cry. Where the hell are they? Oh, they are actually gloves. There we go. Yeah, they are extremely powerful right now. Okay, first of all, we're not going to use them right now, but when it's more balanced to actually use them later in the game, we'll test them out. But right now, it's going to be super overpowered at this point, and we are not going to sell them, because hey A, they're badass and unique, and B, that will get us way too much money right now, just being balanced. So, yeah, we'll try them later, but right now, we'll just go with what we got. Is this pleasure or business? Well, that depends. What do you want it to be? Are you... are you coming on to me? i got to so be honest, you're probably today? one of the most attractive women I've seen so far in the game, which isn't saying much. Right, give me a moment here to sell our junk. I don't think we got too much, but you know, money is money. 
I do think I've been taken advantage of. Okay, that's, just... that's about it. You want one dirty, dirty Shadow girl. Hide. Okay, let's see what yes. the maid has. I got a strange feeling I already looted her, but uh, you know what, check just in case. What do you have? Bunch of money, apparently. I don't know why she keeps having money, but I like it, frankly. Yeah, she ain't got jack shit. Wow. Like, literally not a goddamn thing. Well, alright then. Anyway, I guess we're going to uh, skin grad. So, you know the drill. I'll see you when we arrive, unless something happens along the way. Now we got an athletics perk. Apparently, stamina regen when running is 25% better. That's possibly the most useless perk ever, but you know, whatever, it's something. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Now, we are just outside the Kvetch. I think it would start here since we've been here before. We got straight towards Skin Grad, as usual. If something happens, I'll show you. Oh, oh Jesus! Yeah! You scared the shit out of me! Don't do that! Anyway, if something happens, I'll show you. Otherwise, I'll just see you when we get there. Now, it looks like we found another runic touchstone thingy. I don't really know what to call them. I don't think they actually show up on the map, and I believe usually you just click on them and you get a buff for about three minutes, which is like a Daedric level equipment, like usually gauntlets, a weapon, something like that. What do we get? Apparently a curious and a badass sword. Holy shit. I mean, yeah, I think they are Daedric level. I might be wrong about that. Maybe they're a bit weaker, but uh, yeah, either way, right now, if we ran into something, we would kick the crap out of it, but you know, it's only temporary. Right, what's the sword? 15 damage, holy shit. That's like double what we have right now. And typically we're probably not gonna find jack shit around here besides, you know, like a wolf or something. And apparently a little imp buddy. Well, at least we get to murder something horribly. Yeah, yeah, suck on that. At least he hasn't gone completely to waste. Yeah, I'll tell you, go wild the hell nuts. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, is that a guy I see over there by that bridge? Pretty damn sure there's a guy there. Is he aggressive is the question. It looks like a bandit to me. Yep, I think he's coming for me. It's coming right for us. <laughs> yeah, duh. We, we get to kill two things. Ah, yeah, boy, did you pick the wrong fights. So this is one thing I really, really don't like about Oblivion, is the fact that the uh, weapon and the shield as well does not actually show up in the inventory. So yeah, there you go. You have to look around the floor for it. So she could have a really badass and charred weapon that's worth a lot that's actually worth picking up, and I would never find it in that long grass. Really annoying. And by the way, I know the combat is really tame right now. Trust me when I say, when we actually bust out the Midas Magic later on in the game, it's gonna get insane. Like, absolutely freaking insane. Trust me on that. Just Midas Magic alone, when you actually have good spells, just makes the combat so much freaking fun. I cannot wait. Anyway, let's get out of here. Oh, hey, apparently found another Oblivion portal. Like, holy shit, yeah. these things are everywhere. Get out of here, you scamp bastard. Well, at least we've got more stuff to murder before we lose our sword, which is going to run out fairly quickly. I think we're close to Skingrad. Again, it seems like we're kind of halfway between Kavach and Skingrad, so... Yeah, it seems like portals tend to appear pretty much smack bang between each city, but, uh... Again, it could be observer bias. I really don't know. Is that all that's around here? Oh, there we go. Nice to see you. I think we've actually hit him. Get out of here. Okay, is that everyone? It seems so. Well, that's depressing. At least we got it on the map. Okay, I believe we are just outside Skin Grad. I mean, I haven't really checked the map, so maybe we're nowhere near. I really have no idea. But anyway, yeah. I think I figured out what's making the maid disappear. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a hoe. Ho! Oh. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I think I figured out what keeps making the maid disappear all the goddamn time. I think just randomly she stops and starts sweeping up. I don't know why. Like, no matter where the hell she is, she just pulls out a broom and starts sweeping shits. And then I have to tell her to follow me again, so... Yeah, I'm assuming... In fact, no, because, uh, we had that smitty guy and he disappeared on us as well. I was gonna say, maybe if we didn't have a maid, they wouldn't do that shit, but... Smitty, you know, Smitty's gone. I don't know where the hell he went, so, uh... Yeah, I really don't want something with that. Anyway, I would assume we have to speak to the beggar and probably slip him a bunch of cash One again. More coin, and I can get a pair of shoes. No, you don't need shoes. Trust me, they're overrated. Tell me about Theranis. He's a skillful thief. Oh, yeah. I, re I seem to remember something about him. Something recent. Oh, something important. Uh, something is missing in my hand. It's just occurred to me, this guy has the creepiest freaking eyes I have ever seen. And I would guess soap and water's what you're missing. <laughs> My memory fails me. 
Oh, God, I hate these beggars. Fine, just take my money. Yes, just he take would. it. <laughs> the Rannis was drinking in the two sisters' lodge. He was bragging about stealing something from the castle. Unfortunately, Captain Dion was also in the two sisters' lodge. Oh, he arrested the Rannis and hauled him off to the dungeons. Meg, yet. Not the dungeons. How do I get to see him then? Into the Skingrad dungeons? Not likely. Oh, not unless you got yourself arrested. <laughs> of course, you're a thief. <laughs> Just break in. <laughs> okay, well, thanks for nothing. Here's what I know. Theranis was drinking in the two... Unfortunately. Unfortunately, my voice randomly changes. Blessings have truly <laughs> had us upon you. Holy shit. Oh, God. We can't talk here. Too public. Meet me behind the Great Chapel at midnight. Don't let anyone follow you. I'll make it worth your while. Creepy. Very, very creepy. I remember this quest, however. Okay, so we gotta get into the dungeon somehow for the Thieves' Guild, and we gotta go meet that guy behind the church. I guess we'll do the church thing first, because we can bust out whilst we're here, and then go do the Thieves' Guild, and then get the hell out of here. So I'll see you when I find the church, because I have... No idea what the hell it is. Plus, it ain't midnight. Okay, well, I found the church. It's like 11.45 or something, so I would assume we have yes. to go around the back here. Hello. You're very orange. I'm Dion, captain of the Skingrad Guard. And let me guess, you've been at Snooky's fake tan as well. Ah, tell me about working Castle Skingrad. I heard that Shum Grow Yara is looking to hire. He's the butler for the Count. Go speak to him. Thank you, you've been most helpful. And by the way, that sounds like a dragon shout. I'm Scum Grow Yora! <laughs> Apparently I don't know the Skyrim theme. That was like the worst rendition ever. <laughs> Holy shit, you'd think by now I'd know, but no, apparently not. Okay, anyway, I believe Glarther should be right here. There he is. Ah, you came. You're sure you weren't followed? Good, I thought I could trust you. Nobody else in town. They're all in on it. Oh, watching me. Those bastards. Well, yes. I need you to do something for me. I'll pay you gold. You like gold, don't you? Lots of gold. Yes. Yes, I do. Here's my problem. I'm being followed. Watched. Marukotti selectives, maybe. Not sure. I'm a threat, you see, to their plans. I know too much. I need you to check out some people for me. The ones who are following me. Watch them. See where they go. Who they report to. Will you help me? Dude, for money, I'd do just about anything. Yes. Very good. You won't be sorry. I'll pay you well. Did I say that already? Let's start with Bernadette Penniless. Be outside my house at 6 a.m. You'll see her watching me. See where she goes and who she reports to. Okay. We'll meet here again tomorrow night. Oh, and never contact me in public. They're watching. They can't know you're helping me. Okay, buddy. You can count on me. Tell me about her. Her house is almost directly across the street from mine, southwest of the Great Chapel. Coincidence? I don't think so. Sounds like a damn conspiracy if ever I've heard one. Tell me about Fusrada. You mean other than at the castle? Hmm. He's around town at midday. Try the Colovian Trader and the West Wheeled Inn. Okay then, so we got some new information on our Thieves Guild quest. Andy! Remember, Bernadette Penelis, 6 a.m. Don't let her see you watching. Alrighty then, I'm gonna end it here. Next time, we help out this guy and continue the quest. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I was appreciate it. And I'll see you next time for more Oblivion.